Hello, Disney Car Toys here, and today I'm going to show you the Play-Doh Burger Builder. Hey, Coco Nutty, what are you doing here? I'm hungry. Well, you're in luck, Coco Nutty. I was just about to make some Play-Doh food. Here, I'll make you some french fries first. I'm just loading up the Play-Doh extruder with some yellow Play-Doh. And then when I press down this lever, the french fries come out. Woo, those are long fries. Here, Coco Nutty, do you want to try some fries? Sure thing, they look like a banana. Well, I guess you're right, they are yellow. Here, I added some ketchup for you. Yum, 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 yum. Oops. Oh, Coco Nutty, you're clumsy. Here, don't worry, I'll make you some sweet potato fries using the orange Play-Doh. And these ones I won't make as long as the regular fries. See, good enough to eat. And for some reason, monkeys love ketchup. So I put some ketchup on your sweet potato fries. Here you go. Let me know if you like it. Coco Nutty, that's not how you eat a sweet potato fry. Come on. The last side dish item I'm going to make is an onion ring. To make an onion ring, just use a stencil that is shaped like an oval. Then cut off the Play-Doh and connect both ends to make a ring shape. And now we have an onion ring. Ooh, I love onion rings. Can you make a lot of onion rings? Yeah, sure thing. I can make a lot of onion rings for you. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat these. Ah. Uh, oh man, I just smashed them all. Coco, Nani, you gotta be more careful. Well, since I smashed my onion rings, I'm still hungry. Do you think you can make me a burger? Yeah, sure thing. Let me start by making the bun. We used the press to shape our burger bun, and now we just have to rip off the extra Play-Doh. We just made the bottom bun for our hamburger, but now we need to press a bun for the top. Next, I'm going to load up some dark brown Play-Doh, and we'll press out a hamburger patty. Look, I feel like I work at McDonald's! Only this patty is a little less greasy. Okay, we now have the bun and the burger, but we need some condiments. To make some condiments, I have to remove the burger press and then add a tomato mold. Next, I'll load up the machine with some Play-Doh and we'll press down our tomato. Wow, that made a really crazy shape. Here it is. Let's rip it free. And now I'm going to mix up some purple and white Play-Doh to make an onion. I'll add the onion to the burger, and now we have one super tall hamburger. But this burger needs some crunch. I'm going to load up this Play-Doh tool with some green Play-Doh, and we're going to shred ourselves some lettuce. The shredder pushes out Play-Doh and then cuts it off into curly pieces. It seems like the hardest part is getting the lettuce to land on the burger. Oh wow, look, I was a terrible shot. It's okay, we'll grab a couple of these pieces of lettuce and we'll throw it on the burger. But wait, we're not done yet. We can't have a hamburger without a little bit of mustard and a little bit of ketchup. Holy cow, this Play-Doh burger took forever to make. I hope Coco Nutty appreciates it. Okay, Coco Nutty, here's your burger. Oh boy, I'm so excited, I can't wait! Coco Nutty, you just smashed the whole hamburger! Oh, don't worry, it still tastes delicious smushed! Yum yum yum! Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video! And don't forget to subscribe and like! Thanks for watching and have a great day!